Well, we are on to 4.5. Given a scenario, perform appropriate backup and restore operations. Once again, this is for CompTIA Cloud Plus. This is section 4.0, <clears throat> subsection 4.5. But 4.0 is 22% in its operations and support. So 22% of the exam. Let's get into it. So before we get into it, <laughs> 4.5. This is where we're at, given a scenario. So this is what we're covering. And I'll link to this down below. Okay. Uh, backup types. Are they incremental? So when you take a backup, are you only backing up um, what is uh, changed? Or, or are they differential? So Differential covers everything that's changed since the last full. So uh, if you have a full backup and then you have an incremental, you'd have to, let's say you have six incrementals. You do the full backup and then in, do incremental one, incremental two, incremental three, all the way to six uh, to restore. If it's differential, you do the full and then the last differential. Okay. Uh, or do you always do full backups where, uh, or, how often do you do the full backups? I doubt everyone does full backups all the time because usually you, you don't have enough bandwidth. Uh, it, it takes a lot of, uh, of resources to do a full backup. Or is it a synthetic full? Uh, or are you doing snapshots? So, and each system works a little differently with these. So uh, at first I was worried about snapshot for some of my systems. But as time has gone on, it's been less of an issue. Um, it used to cause some corruption, especially at databases, but uh, a lot of them now acquiesce and it's okay. Um, what to do and where to do it. So with backup objects, are you doing application level backups, file system backups, or about just dumps of the database or configuration files? What objects are you backing up? Uh, and where do you back them up to? A tape, disk, object. So uh, some people back up, I mean, we talked about application file system. Some people back up everything, including the operating system. Uh, and in some ways, I don't like that because um, it's a lot of wasted stuff for the operating system because you can easily reinstall Windows. But it is nice to just be able to put the image down and you're good. Um, so it, it, it just depends on what uh, what the what these things are at university. So we'll get to there. So retention, how long do you keep backups? Uh, and which backups? So oftentimes you might have different backups that you, well, maybe you take, keep monthlies longer than you keep weeklies, longer than you take keep dailies. Maybe you even have some yearly backups. Uh, where are they stored? What is the agreement on how quickly you can get them and stuff? Um, What's your recovery time objective? So recovery time objective is how long you can be down in an emergency. Um, what's your recovery point objectives is it, it, how much data can you lose? So if something bad happens at midnight um, and your backups occur at 8, is that okay? 8 p.m. What if it's at 7 p.m. and your backups occur at 8 p.m. the day before? So... Uh, what point do you need to recover from? How much are you okay losing? In the meantime to recovery, what's the average time it would take you to recover? By the way, your re meantime to recovery should be less than your recovery time objective What when you have to be up by. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's bad. Um, the 3 two, one rule. You should have three copies of data on two different media and, and one copy off-site. Uh, one of the big issues that I had um, in my career, the backups were on the same media as the stuff being backed up. And it was, and that's what had the issues. So it doesn't really help to back up your data to the same media that's being used. So three copies of data, two different media, and one copy offsite. Restoration methods. Are you storing it in place or do you have an alternate location? If it's an alternate location, how are you controlling those costs? Are you okay? Uh, is it a 
full or is it just partial? Is it, are you, is it a, a warm side, a cold side? What, what is it? Um, are you restoring files or snapshots? Uh, what is the method that you're using? So anyway, I hope this is helpful. We'll see you in the next video.